Seven-seater vehicles are like the Swiss army knife of the car world, especially here in the Philippines. I once even saw a five-seater MPV with two monoblock chairs at the back. Bit of a stretch and not really the safest thing on the planet, but you get what I mean. This category is so broad that it covers MPVs, crossovers, and even some versions of SUVs as well, which makes choosing the right one for you a bit of a task simply because of all the options you have. To make it easier for you, we've compiled a short list of seven-seater vehicles that fit under 1.5 million Philippine peso that come with just the right amount of features and just the right amount of power to carry a full load of passengers and cargo as well. So if you are in the market for one of these vehicles, then you might want to take a look at these options available on autodeal.com.ph. If you want to scale up a little bit and get more SUV style in a vehicle instead of the Mobilio, then the BRV can be an option to consider. The second row seats can be moved to allow for more leg room in the back. The higher position of the third row also allows for more knee room to be had since there is a dip where you can place your feet. This raises the comfort level of the third row significantly despite being small. The BRV is powered by a 1.5 liter engine producing 118 horses and 145 newton meters of torque similar to that of the Mobilio. The vehicle is ideal for those who want a more aggressive styled vehicle versus the more minivan looking Mobilio. Honda Philippines has however showcased the new version of the 7-seater but has yet to properly launch it in the Philippines. It's only a matter of time really till the all-new BRV is launched in the country and we will surely update you when it does. But there's no guarantee prices will remain the same. It might be worth picking one up now to satisfy a budget. Another addition to the 7-seater segment, one ups the competition by actually being an 8-seater, is the Maxxis G50, which is the brand's entry into the segment and much like the rest of its competition, also comes powered with a 1.5-liter motor. However, it comes with the advantage of having a turbo attached to it. Under the hood, the minivan-styled vehicle pushes out 167 horses and 250 Nm of torque and sends power to the front wheels via a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. The interior space is great and there are air vents all around to help cool all occupants in the vehicle. The second row of the vehicle has the ability to slide forward, making for more room for the people sitting in the third row. Now on top of all that, the Maxxis G50 also comes with a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now while it doesn't have Apple or Android capabilities, it does have Bluetooth and USB connectivity. The G50 presents itself as an ideal vehicle for those who want a large minivan like MPV that is at the same time Time affordable. If you want a higher riding seven-seater MPV that won't break the bank, look no further than the Mitsubishi Expander Cross. A variant of the somewhat lower to the ground expander, the Cross separates itself by gaining an increased ground clearance of 205 millimeters and by coming in with a more SUV-like look. While the shape of the high-riding MPV remains the same as its counterpart, Mitsubishi has given it body cladding to give the vehicle a more rugged look. It comes with a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system that comes with Bluetooth, auxiliary, and USB connectivity. Sadly, the infotainment system doesn't come with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto capabilities, but it is equipped with a reverse camera and a lot of 12-volt sockets to charge your devices. Under the hood, the Expander Cross still carries with it the same 1.5-liter naturally aspirated motor, which produces 103 horses and 141 Nm of torque and delivers power to the front wheels via a 4-speed automatic. The lifted MPV presents itself as an alternative to those who want a high-riding seven-seater vehicle, but whose budget limits them from entering the SUV segment of the market. The Expander Cross, however, has a white hair or two compared to its recently updated Mitsubishi Expander counterpart. Now, this seven-seater now sports an updated version of the brand's signature dynamic shield design language and comes with an updated T-shaped LED headlight. Its ground clearance has also been raised to match the Expander Cross at 205 millimeters. Aside from this, Mitsubishi has also updated the dampers on the MPV to help give it a slightly more comfortable ride. The taillights have also been revised along with the rear diffuser for the recent update. On the inside, the Japanese automaker has also updated the interior, giving it a more horizontal layout as opposed to the previous version's more vertical orientation. The dashboard has also been revised with more vertical accent and a new design as well. It does come with a 7-inch infotainment system that has support for screen mirroring, but not for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Under the hood, it's still the same 1.5-liter gasoline engine mated to either a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic transmission. 
One of the newer vehicles to enter the lineup of Suzuki Philippines is the Suzuki XL7. Now, based on the Ertiga, the XL7 brings a more SUV-like design but retains the same attractive pricing and features as its MPV counterpart. Like its MPV brother, it too comes powered by a naturally aspirated 1.5-liter gasoline engine that produces 103 horses and 138 newton meters of torque. While it may not seem like a lot on paper, it is enough to get the vehicle going at speed. Just like the others on this list, it too shifts via a four-speed automatic transmission that sends power to the rear wheels. On the inside, the XL7 is well-equipped and it comes with a large 10-inch infotainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A nifty feature to have, especially during these tech-reliant times. The large head unit is also paired to a six-speaker sound system that returns decent amounts of quality and volume. The seven-seater also comes with backup camera and rear parking sensors to make it easier to drive. All in all, the XL7 presents itself as a highly capable seven-seater vehicle that comes with the looks of an SUV, but with a price that doesn't break the bank. It took all the good parts about its MPV brother, the Ertiga, and packaged it to look tougher and more robust. Speaking of the Ertiga, this seven-seater isn't so much an SUV as it's more marketed as an MPV. It comes powered by a 1.5-liter gasoline engine that produces 103 horses and 138 newton meters of torque. While it may not seem like a lot on paper, it is enough to get the vehicle going at speed. Just like the others on this list, it too shifts with a four-speed automatic transmission. The tuning of the throttle and transmission is a bit different from the SUV-like brother, which helps give the MPV a bit more fuel efficiency. On the inside, the Ertiga gives you the basics of what you will need in an MPV. It gives you a relatively large infotainment system that does support Apple and Android, and has a reverse camera as well. Its seats may be fabric, but are comfortable for what they offer and breathe well in hotter conditions. Space is still abundant, and the air conditioning system is good enough to keep the entire cabin cool when fully loaded. Something to note, though, is that Suzuki Philippines also offers the Ertiga with a hybrid drivetrain. However, has yet to release the full specifications for it. From what we've seen from its debut at PIMS 2022, however, the hybrid Ertiga is looking to be well-equipped, and even with a power tailgate on MPV. An entry that has been updated since its initial launch is the Toyota Rush. The affordable seven-seater SUV comes with a rugged design, all while coming in at an affordable price. Toyota Motor Philippines has recently upgraded the model, giving even the entry-level E variant the addition of two more seats, effectively making it a seven-seater vehicle with the addition of a backup camera. Like the other MPVs on the list, the Rush is powered by a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated engine that produces 102 horses and 134 newton meters of torque. It may struggle climbing up steep inclines when fully loaded as the vehicle is, well, on the heavy side. The Rush is ideal for those who want to venture into owning an SUV but don't want to splurge too much on their purchase. The seating in the back might be a bit too tight for adults, especially during long road trips. The seating position in the third row can also be a bit limiting as adjustment space is hindered by the rear hatch. However, you do get the added bonus of 17 cup holders in the vehicle. That's a lot. We cannot in good conscience mention all of these seven-seaters without mentioning the one that arguably started the MPV segment, which is the Toyota Innova. Now, while only a select variant do make it under 1.5 million Philippine pesos, what they offer you is a powerful 2.8-liter turbo diesel engine, a choice between a five-speed manual or a six-speed automatic gearbox, and room for seven with a bit of cargo in the back. It may not come with more of the high-tech features compared to its other rivals on this list, but it does get the basics down very right. The MPV gets access to the 7-inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, which is already the industry standard and the tough Toyota reliability that everyone seems to enjoy. You really can't go wrong with the Innova, especially if you're looking for a bit more power under the hood. If the Toyota Innova isn't your thing and you want a vehicle that comes, well, with a bit more features, then you can go with Toyota Vanza as an alternative. So it may not have the diesel power of its MPV sibling, but it does come with a great price point and a good amount of features as well. While this new version takes on a more boxy and longer design compared to, well, its previous version, it does come with the same power plants available a 1.3-liter or a 1.5-liter motor under the hood with the same power figures as before. 
The cabin is a substantial upgrade over its previous version with a bit more room inside and better build quality that helps keep the road and engine noise at bay. For entertainment, the Avanza does come with either an 8 or a 6.7 inch infotainment system. The 8 inch model, however, is the only one that comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities, along with Bluetooth and auxiliary connectivity. The 6.75 inch model is only available with Bluetooth and auxiliary in connectivity. A four speaker sound system is available in the higher variant. Four USB chargers are available regardless of trim level, along with two 12 volt accessory chargers. If you want a notch higher version of the Avanza that comes with SUV styling, then the Toyota Velos could be more up your alley. See, Toyota pushes the Velos as its brand's entry into the seven-seater subcompact crossover SUV segment in the Philippines. It shares, well, much of the same design as the Avanza stablemates, but comes with a much bolder front clip and along with more, well, technologically advanced safety features. Just like its MPV sibling, the Velos is powered by a 1.5-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine that sends power to the front wheels via a CVT. It comes with a spacious cabin that, well, depending on the variant chosen, also sports an eight or nine inch infotainment system that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. Other safety features for the crossover SUV include a reverse camera and backup sensors to make parking a breeze. If you're looking for something a little different, GAC Philippines has something interesting to offer you with the GN6. It's the brand's entry into the seven-seater MPV segment and offers something special as its only variant comes with captain's seats for the second row. While its styling looks a bit more minivan-like compared to the current crop of seven-seaters that have gone well way the way of the SUV looks, it's well executed and fits the platform well. It has a massive grille at the front with projector halogen headlights, a sleek body, and LED taillights at the back. The GN6 takes it to a different level with its premium interior design featuring a 223 seating arrangement. Up to seven occupants may ride with space to spare for cargo. As such, the trunk space of the GN6 is maximized by folding the seats, resulting to up to 1,100 liters, enough to fit most bags or bulkier cargo. For easier cargo loading and hauling, really, the GN6 was designed with a fold flat floor, thereby maximizing all available cabin space for cargo. Interior upholstery is a light toned leather that is accented by dark brown tones, but GAC also provides a dark brown interior for the MPV. Captain's chairs are also standard and they're featured in the middle row of the cabin. GAC was also able to equip its MPV with a sunroof, which can also be controlled via the key fob. The Nissan Livina is the brand's, well, re-entry, we should say, into the seven-seater MPV segment in the Philippines, and it's the newest one on this list, technically. It sports the brand's latest iteration of the V-Motion design language, and the front retains similar body lines to that of its twin, the Expander. As Nissan and Mitsubishi are in an alliance with one another, they share similar parts with one another. Similarities continue inside the cabin, including textures and design elements. A good mirror is the more than decent amount of quality and volume from the infotainment, which can drown out any unwanted noise in an instant. The Levina is powered by a 1.5 liter gasoline engine that is mated to either a four-speed automatic or a five-speed manual gearbox. It's available in three different trim levels with the E being the only variant to get a manual transmission. It comes with a Blopunk seven inch infotainment system that supports screen mirroring as well as Bluetooth connectivity. Have a browse on these cars on autodeal.com.ph with a more detailed look at their specs, features, and perhaps even compare them against one another with our comparison tool to help you find the ideal car that fulfills your wants and needs. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. See you soon.